gosh, I can't see anything. This is a blind spot. I got myself in a pickle here. Hey guys, bike blogger here. On my way home from work. Today I wanted to talk about Sharrows, bicycle Sharrows. Share the lane uh, markers. Didn't really want to go this way, but I didn't want to wait either at the uh, intersection. What I want to actually do is uh, get over, let's see. Signal, let's get over. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna turn around here. So sharrows are uh, markings on the ground for, uh, gosh, I can't see anything. This is a blind spot. I got myself in a pickle here. So we'll just wait. Light goes red. And we'll take our time. Spin it around. Let's see, where do I want to... Look like I could... Let's see if we can go back here. There we go. This is where I wanted to go. Okay. <laughs> All right going all over the place. Back on topic, Sharrows. They're those little painted pictures of a bicyclist on the road. This is a horrible road, by the way. Oh, man. I have never gone this way before. So I didn't know how crummy this road was. Okay. There we go. Um... And the arrows next to the bicyclist indicate where the cyclist should be riding in the road. Glad to be off that, that other road. That was a high speed road. Going 24 now. Um, miles per hour. Uh, let's see. Stop. Um, let's go straight. I'm trying, to rem I'm trying to remember from one of my past videos. I think I've seen cars fly through that intersection before. Could be wrong. There's actually a, it's actually a four-way stop though. Reminds me of my previous video, but uh, gosh. I'm trying to concentrate here. Sharrows, uh, I like Sharrows, uh. There is sort of a cheap way or an easy way of getting out of actually putting in bike lanes, but uh, uh turn here. But uh, my beef with Sharrows is that I think they should be placed closer together because they seem to be placed like 200 feet apart, you know, well, well apart from each other, and uh. I think if they were placed closer together, they would be, uh, it'd make people more aware of cyclists, and cyclists might be more willing to ride on the road. But then again, I guess that's the point of bike lanes.
All right, so what I want to do here is uh, rather than cut straight up there, I'm going to cut behind this business. Watching out for other vehicles, though. Whew. There's no perfectly safe way through this shopping center. Uh, except to ride slow, which you should do anyway. It's nice to cut back here though. Just gotta watch out for blind spots and semi trucks so. though. <clears throat> Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they got all sorts of security cameras back there. On the docks. 17 miles an hour, so. Okay, yeah, so that was a slightly different way. I didn't much like it though, because of that blind spot on that hill back there. Oh. Yeah, another thing is I don't really care for those uh, share the road signs. I think it's misleading, at least it is to uh, a lot of people, I think. It is to me. Maybe I'm not that smart. I don't know. I don't pretend to be that smart. I think those signs should say, uh, bicyclist or bicycle may use full lane, single file, something like that. I'll post some examples on my website. Some photos or examples of signs I think are better suited. <clears throat> All right, on our way home. Yeah, I just thought to myself like, hey, that might be a good idea to just make the sharrows closer together, make those markings on the ground closer together. It probably still uses less paint than a whole line on the road, like a bike lane. Uh, however, uh, bike lanes uh, only really work for wide roads. Like this is a pretty wide road. They could probably put a bike lane on this road. But uh, where they can't, they'll put a, a sharrow, which means, or which should mean single file. Although there are other uses for sharrows, like. Basically, just, they're just indicators telling where a bicycle should be on the, in the lane. If it's a wide lane, the sharrow would be off to the side of the, the road. However, I don't think a lot of traffic engineers really understand bicycles. Which I think partially contributes to uh, no bike infrastructure in the U.S. Because uh, a lot of it that is done isn't really done with the best intent or it's done with good intentions but not with the best thought in mind because I would imagine most traffic engineers drive cars and trucks do not ride bicycles uh, let's see I turn here Whew. So yeah, I think sharrows, more so than uh, indicating where a bicyclist should be riding on the road, you know, line up with the arrow, sort of like something out of a, a video game or something. Bonus points if you can hit the sharrow. Um, <laughs> is that uh, it just makes motorists more aware that they could be bicycles on the road and uh, for that purpose that's why I think they should be spaced at shorter or closer uh, 
intervals from each other. So, you know, at least, you know, every 100 feet. Um, I think some of the standards that have been adopted are more like 250 feet. Or in uh, other countries, maybe like 75 meters or something. I mean, that's, that's pretty far apart. Stop here. Okay. Now what? Let's go straight today. Trying to think how I want to go home today. I want to do something a little different. We'll go straight to this intersection. Since a, uh, let's go over here. Since a bicyclist does not have, or has like no blind spots, you become a lot more aware of where all the other blind spots are at intersections and stuff like, well, not really an example, but today, uh, it's a little weird, uh, some corner lot, they need to cut back their brush because it was totally covering up a stop sign. That's just typical yard maintenance though. Okay, let's go this way. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back out into the big road here and make a left, watch out for SUV. And uh, go past the Walgreens and uh, we'll be home shortly here. Okay, I'll make a right up here. Sort of a big road, really crummy road though. It's not gonna really be resurfaced for like a year or so from now. They keep delaying it. Counties and cities usually blame it on the utilities, like the water utility. It's like, oh, we can't resurface it until they're complete with their underground pipes. Cause we don't want them to mess it up once we do fix it, but it gets messed up anyway, you know, with regular road use and, uh, and, uh, I need a flashlight and, uh, plows and stuff. Playing it safe here. Go after this guy. So, go, almost home, make a left here, let's go this way. So, that just about covers it. Uh, huh. Just a little confused looking at the road here and all the cuts in the road. They're like at a bunch of intervals here. It'd be interesting to have x ray vision, see everything that's underneath a road. It's got to be pipes that run all over the place. Quite a, quite a mess. Whew. One of the things my city's been doing is uh, separating the storm rainwater sewer system with the uh, sanitary or waste sewage sewer system. Uh, because when it really rains a lot, it overflows and uh, <laughs> backflows into the creek. And so it contaminates the creek and that's no good ecosystem uh, and it's been like that for like 70 years or whatever so they've been just separating it recently and I think they're going to be putting in a really really big pipe under one of these roads like 25 feet in diameter you know we're talking like you could fit a house inside that pipe for uh, storm water that'd be interesting to see actually that'd be pretty cool to ride a bike through something like that. If 
I can find out where it's going to be, maybe I can ask the, uh, <laughs> the construction workers. Maybe they'll let me ride my bike through the pipe before they put it underground, as long as I wear a hard hat. See you next time.